Yeah. You can just jog. Unless you practice. Unless you practice. I'll just do it. That accompaniment. Okay, perfect. A little bit. So the order of Vespers is found on this side. So page 229 is where Vespers start. And we are going to be singing the hymn 18, I don't remember the title, from the Bethany hymnal. Thank you. And then the psalm is, is there on the board as well. That's correct. Good. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, let us stand and we shall begin. Oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me on earth. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. Psalm 91, verses 9. 14. You want to give us an intro? Kind of here? The whole verse? Yeah. A whole verse. Starting in verse 9. nine. to befall you. No play come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up. Lest you strike your foot against a stone, you will tread the lion and the otter, the long young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. 
I will rescue him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. We will sing our office hymn, 18, found in the Bethany hymnal, Lo, the Angel of the Lord.
Please be seated. A reading from Luke chapter 2. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Your word is a to my feet and a light to my path. Unite my heart to fear your name, that I may walk in your truth. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your word is a lamp to my feet, and a light to my path. I will not die, but live to proclaim what the Lord has done. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you, from God our Father, and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Give thanks to God for this day. It has been a wonderful journey. Um, hearing Pastor Bowie's wisdom and sharing with us the many hymns that he has written. So we thank God for sending a man like you uh, to the church. And all the more, as we heard in the gospel reading for today, we thank God for sending the man Jesus Christ. And we hear that the shepherds are in the field. And what are the shepherds doing in the field? Keeping watch over their flock, taking care of their sheep. And then an angel appears, a messenger, with good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Not just for Christians, but Jesus is for 
all people. For in Bethlehem, the city of David, a Savior has been born who is the Christ. And then a multitude appears and they say, glory to God in the highest. And these shepherds go to the city to see the things that the, have, the angels have proclaimed to them. Now, you know that you have a pastor, perhaps pastors. You have under shepherds. The good pastor, the good shepherd is our Lord Jesus Christ. Yet Christ has instituted the office of the holy ministry. And these shepherds watch over you as the flock of Christ. And they too are angels. They are messengers. If your pastor one day, one day tells you that he's an angel, you can say, yes, that is correct. He brings you good news. He says that this good news is for all people. Fear not, for a Savior has been born, and this Savior is your Savior. And these pastors go and see the thing as it is. They see that Christ has been crucified and risen for them that he was born to die and rise for his people and that he has not left his people. And these pastors continue to proclaim this good news, even though there are times when sheep do not want to listen or there are times when sheep do not want to be gathered. Yet pray for your pastor that he would have patience to care for the flock. And we give thanks to God the Father, that his Son, Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, cares for his flock. That he is patient, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. That he spread out his arms for us on Golgotha and gave his dying breath so that we would have life now and forevermore. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. We stand for the canticle found on page 231. Let my prayer rise before you as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in the Lord my Savior. For he has recorded the loneliness of his handmaiden. Thank you. 
Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you have given to us. We thank you for pastors, Lord. We especially thank you for Pastor Bowie, for him sharing his inspiration for writing the hymn, What is This Bread?, along with the Spiritual Society and other books that he has written. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to raise up leaders for your church, that they might continue to proclaim Christ in him crucified. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for the church, whom saints and angels delight to worship in heaven, to be your servant, who made art and music for your people, that with joy we on earth may glimpse your beauty, bring us to the, fulfill to the fulfillment of that joy of perfection that will be ours as we stand before you, before your unveiled glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the evil of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We stand. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you, Dr. Nolan, for playing the organ. And thank you, Pastor Bowie, for your accompaniment on the guitar. Leading us in this conference. We will go into the parish hall for a closing, closing remarks. May we honor